Hey everybody and welcome. Certainly glad you could join me today. So today is our first ever subreddit review of renders. I may find a more glamorous name for that in the future, but for now that's what I'm sticking with. <laughs> so it's the 1st of January, so Happy New Year to everybody watching this on the day. I hope everybody has a great 2020 and every year after that. So I'm sorting by new. We've got about four to get through. I'm only going to do one render per user. If you've submitted several renders, um, I will obviously apologize now for not um, giving you advice or reviews on all of them, but it's only fair to just kind of do one for each person. Okay, so the first submission is Mutant M. It's actually a really nice, solid render. Facial expression is good. It kind of matches the pose. The lighting is really nice. You can see that she's making good, solid contact with the floor. The kind of setting is nice. It's not a boring, blank background. There's a nice little bit of bokeh in there as well, just to kind of separate the character from the background. So depth of field is nice. Lighting is nice and soft as well. So it kind of looks like she's outside but under a gazebo of some sort the colors are really good nice use of deforce for the top um so let's see if we can get zoomed in for a little bit more detail yeah the clothes are fitted well this this whole gap through here is basically just how ha it happens with every clothing item on day it seems to be the default setting that every item of clothing is at least five millimeters away from the skin so a short of Fixing that in post, there's not much you can really do in Dash Studio to remedy that. Again, the facial expression kind of matches the pose she's pulling. Maybe have the character making eye contact with the camera. It's so that it looks like she's kind of doing it. It depends on if she's talking to somebody else in the scene or if it's she is posing for the camera, obviously. But eye contact is something that you could give some thought to. So the feet nice contact with the floor there is maybe like about a millimeter of separation what you can do is sink them into the floor by a couple of millimeters just to make it look like they're actually standing on it you could try applying a deformer to the bottom of the foot to kind of spread out the flesh but to be honest that's a lot of effort for something that only a very few people a very minor number of people are actually going to see the only thing I would change with the foot pose is this is clearly a high heeled pose that she's in. So you could apply a flat foot pose to just her feet so that they are flat down so that it doesn't look like she's tiptoeing for, for no reason. But you know, it's a really good solid render. I'd be very happy with that. And considering you've said this is only like a month into your rendering journey you should be very proud of yourself very pleased with yourself on this one it's a really solid render particularly for someone who's new to das studio nsa gamer 714 again this is a really nice render really really lovely lighting it's indoors so that adds an extra dynamic to the image that makes it a little bit more this is kind of it takes a bit longer to render I recognize this set, but I can't remember from where, so don't, don't worry, I'm not criticizing that at all, but it's a good use of that set. So a nice contact of the hat, back of the hand with the head. It looks like she's sort of just gently brushing the hair away from her head. Uh, again, a nice deforce outfit there that's draping effect. It's obviously been properly simulated, which is always nice. Now the lighting quality is really good because you can see the detail in the shadows and in the highlights so it's not too dark. There's just about the right amount of contrast on that. Foot contact with the floor is really good. You've sort of sunk her into the floor by a couple of millimeters which makes her look like she's actually touching the floor and the weight of her body is flattening the flesh out which is always good. And again if you notice the even the deforce itself doesn't make perfect contact with surfaces you can see that the 
the dress is draping a, a couple of millimeters above the floor which is again something that that studio seems to do which again is not something that anyone is really going to notice unless they were specifically looking for yeah pretty good hand on the hip is is good it's tricky when you're doing this because if you if you misjudge it then the smoothing modifier will swallow the hand up inside the dress so it's always good to turn off that which i, I assume is what you've done here you've turned off the smoothing modifier so that the dress doesn't kind of engulf the hand and obviously with the d4 simulation you don't really need mesh smoothing unless there is a significant amount of poke through or something which you haven't got you can see that everything seems to be well covered by the dress and the underwear so if i was to pick anything in this scene i maybe give her a different facial expression this looks to me like the default daz blank facial expression it depends on the mood of the scene but again that's really just a personal kind of preference there overall i'd say this is a really solid render and again you should be really happy with it be really proud of yourself this is really solid work. So now we're coming into Michael Buckley, one of Michael Buckley's submissions. This is his most recent one, Bombs Away, which I found to be quite cute. Um, <laughs> nice use of the standard HDR there. It gives, it makes lighting a lot easier. The character, -y, the, the the kind of is quite good because I don't normally kind of like the com whole comic book look in dash studio the kind of pixar -y style that that you can get a lot of characters that have it yeah say so the hdri lighting is really nice and it gives you that kind of realistic outdoor effect with the different colored lighting so you've got kind of the bluish lighting coming in from the left side of the screen and the white yellow lighting coming in from the right the body's making really good contact with the bomb and the bomb's got a really solid texture on it you can see the scratches and the detail and everything so you've obviously left this to render to as close to 100 percent as possible which is good there's no use of denoise that i could visibly make out anyway pose is fun the facial expression is really good overall i'd say this is you know a really solid render i know that michael has some performance issues on his own computer so throwing a lot of stuff into the background isn't always going to be a particular possibility given the hardware limitations that you're working with i'd say this is you know this is a really good render you should be really happy with this one so well done for that my friend so here we have an image by matty boy 5 unfortunately i couldn't actually get the image to load on imager so i'm having to view the kind of half image here um again pose is good you've done you've obviously put a lot of effort into getting her into the right pose you can see that her hands are actually making contact with the leg which is good obviously i can't see if she's making contact with the floor or not so i can't really comment on that but the outfit is fitted well and the facial expression again it looks kind of like the daz the standard daz facial expression it's always nice to see something a little bit different in there. I mean, I've been guilty of it myself a few times of forgetting to change the facial expression when I do a render, but the lighting is really, really solid. It looks really nice and soft and good, and you can still see, still make out the shadows and the highlights, so it's not bleach lighting like you lot see in a lot of 3D novels where they've tried to speed up render times by just removing any shadow whatsoever. Again, really good render, really solid. It would be nice to see something perhaps in the background i don't know what your hardware situation is so this might be something that you have encountered like michael buckley in that you don't have you know particularly great hardware but you should be really happy with this this is great it's great to see people taking on board the lessons that we've covered and putting them to really good use so really congrats on that one really solid render so the last render that we're going to look at is this one from sensi it was following the ring light tutorial that we did on the channel recently. And again, it's a very nice kind of use of that technique. I'm assuming that's a deforce dress. It looks like it is. It's well draped. Good solid pose. You know, you've sort of paid attention to detail. You've got the hands touching the head and, you know, making solid contact. It's difficult to kind of pick out whether she's touching the background or not, but but that's kind of the point of ring light is that there is no shadow behind objects. 
so you you would know you wouldn't have to know. Um, it's good to see everything's covered, nice, family friendly. The outfit is nice. Again, with the facial expression, it looks maybe I'm wrong. It looks like the Daz Studio standard blank expression. Now, I know that we don't talk about expressions much on the channel yet. You know, overall, this is a really solid pose. There's a slight yellowish hue to it, and I don't know if that's just because of the color of the backdrop. Um, that's just made giving the whole image a yellow cast or not, but I'm assuming that you're using white light for the ring light There's a very yellowy background which is maybe making the model look like she's got a yellow light on her It's hard to tell The only thing I would say that I would change in this specific image is just that there's a little bit too much of a sheen on the skin shader so it makes it look like she's got baby oil all over her and that's a fairly minor complaint. Overall, this is a really great image. I would just personally, as a matter of personal preference, I would concentrate on just getting rid of that skin shine a little bit more, just reducing that glossy layered weight down by maybe half, just so that you're not getting these hot, these hot spots on the, on the skin that are kind of telltale giveaways. And that should kind of help soften the skin look up a little bit as well. Overall, a really solid image. Well, that's about going to cover it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. Um, feel free to get yourself on the subreddit. The link is on the channel in the banner, and I've posted it on the community tab a couple of times as well. Get yourself in there. Read the posting guide, and let me see your renders. I want to see your renders. <laughs> Thanks very much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.